Monday Health Minutes, sponsored by Valley Health. Hi, I'm Melanie Schaefer. This is Valley Health Minutes. Holidays are wonderful, but they can also be a very painful time. If you've lost a loved one, those memories just bring back those feelings of loss sometimes. So how can you navigate through the holidays as you're missing someone so much? We're talking with licensed clinical social worker, Michaela Whitlow, about that. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. It is very, very difficult for people to go through the holidays sometimes after they've lost somebody. Absolutely. What can they do to try to make it a little less painful? Well, first of all, not being judgmental of yourself because it's normal to have a more difficult time during the holidays, during anniversaries, birthdays, certain times of year are gonna be times when you do experience a heightened sense of grief. It's normal and it's expected. So the good news is that you can prepare for it. We know when the holidays are coming and we know when these special times are coming and so we can prepare ahead of time so that people have support, you have a plan of how to cope in a healthy way, and you know that it's going to be short term, and then you're going to come out of it again. Yeah, I think that's a great suggestion and a great reminder that it eventually you'll be on the other side Absolutely. And, it, and things will get better. People have such time-honored traditions about holidays, and I think that's what makes it painful because their loved one is no longer there mm -hmm. for those special traditions. Is it a good idea to maintain or come up with new traditions? I think it's individual to the patient. Um, you want to be able to grieve, but then also to set that grief aside. So I think a little bit of both is always healthy. Um, sometimes I'll work with patients and we'll come up with a plan to memorialize their loved one at that time. You know, maybe visit the graveside so that they can feel like they're not forgetting that loved one. That's often a big fear for people. Mm -hmm. um, or having a birthday cake when it's their birthday or, you know, things like that just to help continue that relationship. I always tell people that in grief when you've lost someone, um, the relationship continues. It doesn't end just because the person is not here anymore. That's a beautiful way to look at it. Mm -hmm. You still miss them, you still talk to them sometimes. Sure. Those are interesting coping mechanisms to have the birthday cake and to do the traditions. What other things could people do to try to find a way to cope through the hectic holiday time when they're missing their loved one? Sure. Well, when I work with my patients, we come up with a plan and we actually will sit down with a paper and I call it managing difficult times. So um, we'll sit down and identify who's going to be a support person for you during this time. Who do you need to talk to on a regular basis and spend time with that will be encouraging and supportive to you if you do sense that heightened feeling of grief. So um, that's important. And then also you'll want to come up with some ways to soothe yourself during that time because you may be sadder and that's okay. It's okay to feel those things. But what can you do to kind of be self-soothing? Can you plan a meal that you're gonna enjoy or a bubble bath or um, spend time with a friend? So just little things can make a big difference in getting through that. That's interesting to actually write down the plan. Mm -hmm. So you walking into it knowing when this happens, here's my strategy. Yeah. That's people, really interesting. Yeah, people often get in trouble when they want to ignore it and push it away right. and pretend it's not going to happen because it's going to happen no matter what you do. So it is better to be prepared and to have a plan to cope in a healthy way. What kind of support can people reach out for if they're really struggling? Um, obviously therapy. Um, there are a lot of therapists that can help with grief related issues. Sometimes it can be difficult to be able to set the grief aside and integrate it into your normal day to day life. And so if you find yourself having that difficulty, if it's been, you know, six months, a year or more and you're not able to continue through your day without having a breakdown or you're, you know, not able to continue on with life as you did before, then it might be time to seek help with a professional. So just reach out through your family practice, your provider, Absolutely. behavioral health. Family practice, your family doctor. Um, we at Valley Health have tons of behavioral health providers that can offer grief support. All right. Michaela, thank you so much. It's a tough time for a lot of folks, but you've given us a great way to kind of strategize and come up with a plan on how to deal with that, that heartbreak that can continue through the holidays. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next Monday.